Okay, success is is mainly dependent on what your goal is. If, for example, your goal was to grow your followers from maybe 10 to 20, if you get to 23 followers, that is success. You have passed your target. You also need to set your KPIs for any account that you're managing. Today's uh, session will be able to look at social media marketing. So, social media marketing is one of the main challenges which businesses face here in Kenya and also globally. So, you, uh, you find that you have an idea of what to post, maybe it's your product or your services, but you're really stuck on what to do. So, in today's show, we have Anyo Kagi, who's a digital marketing expert and also a social media manager. And, uh, She'll be able to take us through some of the important things which you need to consider in your social media marketing. So, Anne Yokabi, uh, welcome to the show. You can please introduce yourself. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Anne Yokabi. I'm a social media manager and strategist and also a digital storyteller. I work with brands to elevate their presence on the social media platforms and I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Anne, it's a pleasure to have you. So, one of the main questions which our users have is... Uh, which social media platform should I focus on to promote my products or my services? Mm -hmm. The social media platform that you should focus on in promoting your businesses is where your target audience is. So the first step before you be on any social media platform is to find out who your target audience is. For example, if it's the younger generation, you will mostly find them on Instagram and TikTok. If it's the working professionals, they're mostly on LinkedIn and Twitter. If it's the if it's our parents, they're mostly on Facebook. So the first step is identifying who your target audience is and identifying where they are. Okay, now once you've done that, then another important question could be how frequent should we be posting that to these particular social media platforms? Okay, the frequency is a rather a relative topic because to someone else twice is consistent enough three times is consistent enough so it basically depends on what line you're in but the main advice that i will choose is how, however many times you choose to post is be consistent if you choose to post once in a day be consistent with that so that your audience is not confused don't post today then you stay a week then you post after two months you disappear on your audience be consistent and something you need to know is that in today's world, the competition is so much. So you might be posting once and your competitor is posting twice a day. So be very strategic in choosing the number of times you post on your social platforms. Okay. Yeah. So now you've already told us on, about the frequency. Now what about the type of content? What type of content should we be posting on as a business owners? Okay. The, the type of content, there are mainly, mainly three types of content. There is uh, expert content, there is engaging content, and there is promotional content. I'll break down the three. Mm -hmm. The expert content is whereby you come out as an expert in the field that you're in. You come out and give us expert content, what people should be doing, because you know the business better than anyone else. The promotional content is whereby you promote your business, you speak about what you're selling. And one thing you need to note about the promotional content is that is that you need to sell the benefits don't put out the price that your products or services go for sell out the benefits then another type of content is engaging content this is whereby you engage with your audience you speak to them you talk to them you address different issues that they have that not only relate to your products or services it's basically getting to know who your audience are for example, if they were to be put in one room, what else would they be discussing apart from your products or services? 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, thanks for that. I think we can take a short break and then we'll continue on uh, with this episode. Thank you. Thank you. So another important question which a lot of people uh, usually have is uh, how should I encourage people to share my content which have maybe posted on my social media accounts. Okay, how you can encourage your audience to share your content on their social media platform yeah. is first you need to create content that resonates with your audience so that they may be able to share it. Then you, use to, you need to use high visual content. For example, if there are images, they need to be of high quality. If it's videos, they need to be very clear and very audible. Another thing is tell a story. Don't just put your content out there. Tell us a story, tell us the why. Give us a very compelling story. In that way, people will be able to share it. Another thing is use humor. Make people laugh, be entertaining. So those are some of the strategies that you can employ so that people can share your content. Okay. Yeah. And then for this particular content, mm -hmm. uh, in most cases we find that we already have an existing personal social media account. Should okay. we necessarily create a new account for the business or just post the business content on our personal accounts, which maybe already have people who know us? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's advisable to create a business account because your personal account, it has people who already know you, so it's easier because you'll get the likes and all that, yeah. but they may not be necessarily your target audience. Mm -hmm. So the best thing is to open a business account and even with a business account, you're able to get analytics, you're able to see impressions, you're able to see how many people you, your content uh, reached at, and you're able to analyze whether your strategy is working or not, which that information you cannot get on a personal profile. So yes, it's advisable to open a business account when you're running a business. And are there any optimal times which you should be posting in this particular social media account? Or you just post any time that you feel like? The best time to post on social media platform is when your audience is active. So you really need to identify the times that your audience is active. Is your audience active in the morning as they're going to work? Are they active during the day? For example, if your audience is uh, mothers, are they up? in the social media in the morning or during the day? Are they online when maybe it's around five when they're coming from work or at night when they've already done their work and they're going to rest? So you really need to learn who your audience is so that you can know what time they're active on the platforms and that is the best time to post. Okay. Yeah. And then there are also some instances where you can utilize paid advertisements. What's your opinion or your take on the paid advertisements for social media posts? Uh, there are two types of uh, of of uh, content of growth on social media. Yeah. There is organic growth and there's the paid growth. Organic is usually the best growth, but it takes time. When we say organic, we mean the traditional way of growing. There is no you don't sponsor your post. You mainly focus on giving valuable content. It is the best way, but it takes time. And I am a big advocate of organic growth. But in today's world where the competition is very high, you need to incorporate paid advertisement. So paid ad is good because it enables you to reach people who are not your followers. So you need to complement both organic and paid advertisement. Okay. Yeah. And uh, finally, as a social media manager, how do you mainly measure success? Okay. For particular social media accounts. Okay, success is is mainly dependent on what your goal is. If, for example, your goal was to grow your followers from maybe 10 to 20, if you get to 23 followers, that is success. You have passed your target. You also need to set your KPIs for any account that you're managing. For example, is our goal engagement? Is our goal reach? Is our goal sales? For example, if our goal is sales, and by the end of the month we have not done any sales, then we need to change our strategies. If our goal was to get to 1 million people, that is the reach, 
and we don't achieve that at the end of the month, we need to analyze why didn't we do it. So success is dependent on what your goal is. Okay. Yeah. And then also from experience, mm-hmm. what are some of the main mistakes which business owners make in relation to social media marketing? The main the main a mistake that I see people make first of all is inconsistency for social media platforms you cannot post today maybe you do 10 posts in a single day then you stay awake without posting and then you expect when you come back your audience will still be there warm enough for you to sell so the first thing is inconsistency the second thing is people are not telling stories you need to tell us your brand story you need to tell us why you're doing what you're doing, why you're doing the services that you are. We need to understand why we need to buy from you and not your competitor. So brands are not telling out stories and that is another big mistake. Then thirdly is uh, only putting out salesy content whereby your posts are buy this, buy that, we are selling this, this is 1,000, this is 2,000 and you're not telling us why we need to buy from you. So you need to avoid being salesy on social media platforms and give value. Tell us what value we'll derive from using your products. Okay. Yes. And uh, I think finally to close it, let's say I'm a business owner. I'm interested in what you've said. So how can I be able to reach you? Mm. You can reach me on social media. On Instagram, I'm known as Anyokabi, the social media manager. On Facebook, I'm also Anyokabi. On LinkedIn, I'm Anyokabi. And my number will also be shared on the comment section. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so thanks uh, everyone for tuning in. We'll see you in the next episode where we'll be diving more into the life of a startup here in Kenya. Yeah.